So welcome to the YOLA edition of starting your free website with your host me, Tom Walker of walkercommunication.com. Uh, let me jump into this little chart that I've got going. For comparison on all these free services, I'm, I've picked out about a half dozen, which you can see across the top, and I've highlighted YOLA. And I have, of course, my secret weapon over in the right-hand column. I want you to visit my YouTube channel or come to my website to find out what that secret weapon is. But um, for the moment, let me just comment a little bit on YOLA before we take a look at it. Uh, I've got some good things and some bad things. Um, the good is that the ease of use is very, very high with YOLA. They are one uh, easy system to use. They're not going to be difficult to learn how to get around in there. It's a very popular system. This is one of the most popular with more than 2 million users. That figure is actually a couple of years old, I think. And there are a couple of things that I would call out as being not so hot. Um, the ads on YOLA are a little bigger than most of the other ones. Most of the ones that I classify as kind of normal are a little text ad at the bottom or something. YOLA has a bigger logo that shows up. The, the upgrades at YOLA are not really so hot. Maybe we'll take a look at that situation some more, but any free system you want to have a really good upgrade path with, and YOLA really is not very strong in that department. And just a quick note on uh, the backups. I have it marked uh, as no for backup and poor for export. There is a backup function if you're willing to just take a zip file and put it on your computer. There's not a backup at YOLA, and it's not automatic. You have to go do it manually. And when you get that zip file, it's not really something you can take with you. Unless you're fairly expert, you can't take the files that you download from YOLA and go put them anywhere else. Um, so it's, it's limited, but it does exist. So with all that said, let's jump in and take a look at how it actually works. Okay, so I've logged into YOLA to take a look at editing my site and I'll open it up and here we go I've got my uh, site open and there's tools across the top and more tools down the side with a preview of the site in here and as you notice that I'm as I move my mouse around different things are highlighted this is um, a direct in interface in other words it's what you see is what you get and as you click into something you can simply edit the text and if I click in here to edit text, you'll notice that up here now I have text controls, just like a word processor. But if I click into something else, then um, that'll change. It'll, uh, if I click on the banner, I have banner controls. If I click in the navigation, I've got text controls. But if I click away from everything, there's nothing up here. Those controls for the text went away. Um, if I click on an element to delete it, if I want to make it go away, there's a a little X which is delete component box so that's fairly intuitive kind of like a Windows component and uh, the controls over here on the right in this column include uh, there's a save button over here um, refresh something to look at it again preview which will open uh, your website and then there's a number of widgets that are already there I've opened up all the uh, menu parts they open and close like this and so there's basic ones you can drag and drop any of these into your layout Let's say I want to put a text box in there, just drag it over there and drop it, and now it's ready to edit. Uh, I'll scroll over here and show you where it's, where it's ready to edit. It says edit to text. Let's look at some more widgets. There's a picture. You can put a column divider in there. Now this one's a little different. If you drag the column divider element in there, you'll have a two-column thing with nothing in it. And you still have to put a picture or a text box or whatever it is in here. So let's say we would put a text box in that two column thing. Now we still have two columns, but the text box goes in the column to the left or wherever you drop it. It's all pretty intuitive in that, at that point. Um, you can put a file onto your page, just adds a downloadable file. Uh, so that's uh, intuitive if you want people to be able to click on and download a PDF or something. The multimedia widgets include YouTube and Flickr galleries and that kind of thing, an MP3 player. Uh, widget collections, now you can go to Google's gadgets, and they have tons and tons of, of gadgets. All the Google gadgets that exist are usable in YOLO, which is really kind of nice. Although, I kind of, I've looked through the Google gadgets, there's a lot of them, but most of them are for fun. There's not really many utilitarian ones. You've got to really look for the ones that might be utility things. Um, I'm not familiar as much with Wid Widgetbox. I don't know what they have, but I think it's a uh, pay service at some point. Um, communicate. You could have a chat or a, um, the talkie forum. I don't remember what that is. It's a, 
it's a forum though and forms they have a, you can just draw, drag and drop your, your widgets in there to make your own form they have Google Maps and e-commerce is ready to plug in so they've got some good ready to go widgets um, it's not an endless selection perhaps but it, it's pretty good and then uh, while I'm working on this stuff I will actually keep my site open this is at the address that I'm doing so if I make a change I can actually see it in a browser and I can just have that in a, a secondary tab or whatever here's the publish box publish my site um, publishing settings um, you can download your site so that you can back it up which is a, always a good thing you can add a domain that you own turn the site off or edit your domain name if you want to change your domain name around a little bit all in all it's a it's a very easy to use system the only thing that I'll point out is that it's a um, little bit cluttered in the interface by reason of having lots of stuff across the top and then lots of stuff uh, over here down the side too so there's there's a bunch of stuff to kind of learn your way around in but but it's all very intuitive it's all very good and so there you go Yola in a nutshell so thanks for coming by and taking a look and be sure and check out our other reviews in the starting your free website series plus of course come to our youtube channel or walkercommunication.com for more educational materials and please contact us to find out more about how we can help you build your website we'll be happy to help you with your graphics or actually help you build your site